This is the Alpha Antennas Hextenna. The Hextenna is a rigid dipole style antenna that you can use from 2 meters all the way down to 40 meters depending upon its configuration. Uh, the Hextenna, it gets its name uh, from this uh, six-sided or hexagonal uh, mounting point that lets you uh, attach two 17-foot whips that you can use as dipole elements, or you can use one 17-foot whip on the top as a vertical style antenna. Uh, there's a counterpoise on the side for the vertical deployment. The hex tenant is also available uh, with this uh, heavy-duty surveyor's tripod, and also with an additional uh, transformer unit, you can turn your hex tenna into a delta loop style antenna. So the hex tenna is a very versatile antenna. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, setup and components, and then we're going to put the hex tenna on the air. The Elf Antenna Hex Tenna is a resonant legal limit rigid dipole and vertical antenna system. As a dipole, it covers 2 through 40 meters, and as a vertical antenna, 10 through 20 meters. The antenna system consists of the Hex Tenna Hub, a 3D printed unit with two angled connections for a dipole element, and an upright connection for a vertical whip. The hub features an SO239 UHF connector at the feed point. The kit includes two 17-foot 9-inch or 5.4-meter stainless steel whips for the vertical and dipole elements, two 18-foot clip-on wire segments to extend the dipole elements to the 30 and 40-meter bands, and a 31-foot counterpoise wire for the vertical antenna deployment. The entire kit packs into a 24-inch non-padded bag. The Hex Tennis tripod extends to approximately 60 inches or 5 feet and has a carrying strap along the side. At the bottom of the tripod are points to help secure the tripod in the ground, and the top sports a 3 8 inch by 24 threaded mount for antenna attachment. In deploying the antenna, the hex tenna is rated for use in winds up to 15 miles per hour on guide, and gusts up to 35 miles per hour when you guide the base of the unit. The whips of the hex tenna are telescopic and are adjusted for a resonant match on your desired frequency. The angled nature of the hex tenna's dipole transforms the impedance from the typical 72 ohms of a dipole to the expected 50 ohm match. This hex tenna kit is on loan to me from Elf Antennas for this review. Uh, all of my opinions in this video are my own without any outside influence. Now let's get the hex tenna on the air. This tripod from Elf Antennas is substantial to say the very least. It's a, it's a surveyor style tripod. It's got uh, spike points on the bottom so you can secure it into the earth and on the top is mounted a 3 8 by 24 uh, threaded hole so you can thread a base onto the top of this tripod. Uh, this is the tripod we're going to use for the uh, Elf Antenna's Hex Tenna so we'll be putting the Hex Tenna unit here and then uh, run the, uh, the dipole elements off that way. Uh, carrying strap and um, it can be spread out almost any you know you can spread it low you can spread it high that's kind of nice. Locking mechanism Ideally, you're going to want this tripod about five feet in the air for the um, the hex tenna. That's that's the design consideration for its deployment. Um, about five feet, and with that, we got it. Uh, this is the hex tenna unit, and. Uh, I guess it gets its shape because the um, base unit is sort of a hexagon, six sides. Uh, but otherwise, what it is is sort of an inverted V dipole. I'd call it. I, I'd call it that. Uh, these two points, mounting points, this one and this one, are for dipole elements. The one on the top is if we wanted to run a single uh, vertical element. Uh, if we're running a single vertical, we'd use the counterpoise connection here at the base. Over here is a um, UHF connector, SO239, and then on the bottom, just 3 8 by 24 thread. 
Uh, these are the whips, stainless steel whips from Elf Antenna. These are 213 inches, uh, 17 feet, nine inches, I believe it is. Um, 5.42 meters uh, for those that are addicted to the metric system. Now to tune the hex tenna, uh, we will extend uh, these dipole elements out. And um, Elf Antennas provides this handy tuning sheet. Uh, this gives you the lengths of the elements for vertical deployment and for the dipole de deployment. Uh, use this as your starting point in, in tuning the antenna. It'll run using just the stock elements. Um, 2 meters through 20 meters. If I want to do 30 or 40 meters, uh, what I will add is a wire on the top of the uh, dipole element. So we can get uh, very easily 2 meters through uh, 40 meters with the dipole configuration. Sixteen feet, eleven and a half inches. So I'm going to bring these in about a nine inches. So my guesstimation was right. Without tuning the element or t um, measuring the elements at all, I got down to one point one to one point one zero to one. <laughs> Almost perfect on uh, the twenty meter band. Kilo Quebec four, Mike Delta Mike. Kilo Quebec 4, Mike Delta Mike, nice 5.8 into Wisconsin, US 1455, back to you. Roger, roger, you're 5.9 into Northeast Tennessee, good to hear from another LICW classmate, 73 my friend. All right, <laughs> uh, good to hear, I got to get back into it, it's, I've been sloughing away all summer long, but now that it's, it's um, camping season's over with, well this is our last weekend, I got to get back into it, so um, hope to catch you on the band CW wise. Roger that. Uh, good to watch your uh, YouTube videos too. Appreciate you, 73. Hey, you too. You take care, 73. Ending in Charlie Tango? No, hey, Michael, good afternoon. November 1, Echo Charlie Tango. <laughs> Oh, there we go, November 1, Echo, Charlie, Tango. Hey, how, how you doing? Uh, beautiful 5-9, Wisconsin, US 1455. Back to you. Hey, Michael, yeah, I'm doing well. I hope you are, too. You're 5-9 into the state of Rhode Island. All right, well, thanks a lot for Rhode Island today. Uh, you have a great day, 7-3. Yeah, happy, happy Halloween. With the Alpha 2, Alpha India 4, Zulu Dracula. <laughs> Alpha India 4, Zulu Dracula. There we go, 5-8 Wisconsin, US 1455. Back to you. Roger, Roger, Michael. This is Dracula, and you are 5-7 into North Carolina, also known as Transylvania. Boy. All right, well, hey, thanks a lot for the North Carolina. You're spooking me out. We're camping this weekend, so uh, good to get you in the log. You have a great day, 7-3. Seven, 7-3, three. Seven, three and happy Halloween. Oh, ho, ho. KB9 VBR parks on the air. Here is it. Romeo Hotel Lima. Kilo Delta 2, Romeo Hotel Lima. I have used a 5.7 in upstate New York. Kilo Delta 2, Romeo Hotel Lima. Thanks for upstate New York. 5.7 Wisconsin, US 1455. Back to you. QSL, thanks for the 5.7. Have a great night, 73. You too, take care, 7.3. Uh, Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on your QRZ. Oh, yeah. uh, KB9 VBR, parks on your last call. Kilo Charlie 1, November Golf Sierra. Kilo Charlie 1, November Golf Sierra. Thanks, uh, 5-7 Wisconsin, U.S. 1455. Back to you. 5-7 both ways in New Hampshire. Thanks for the 5-7 in New Hampshire. You have a great evening in 7-3. 7-3. And with that, we're going to call our quits. Uh, we're going to be QRT, KB9 VBR. Oh, 74. Wow. That's pretty good. To change the bands on the hex antenna, all we got to do is just adjust these two whips. And Elf Antennas makes it easy uh, because we can use this handy dandy chart uh, with the lengths of the dipole elements. We're going to drop 
right now it's set for the 20 meter band. We're going to drop it down to 10 meters. So I need to adjust my whips to 8 feet, 3 and a half inches. I could probably eyeball it. Uh, we'll see. To make it a little easier, I did bring my tape measure. <laughs> uh, so well, let's get these uh, whips uh, readjusted for the 10 meter band. And we're at 1.3 to 1. I'm not going to mess with that. I could probably tweak it in a little bit um, closer. I'm not going to mess with that a whole lot more than that. November 6, Foxtrot Mike Delta, park to park. November 6, Foxtrot Mike Delta, gotcha. 53 Wisconsin, US 1455. Back to you. Hey, thanks for the 3432. You have a great activation today. Uh, you as well. Good to hear you out there. 73. <laughs> 73, take care. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo parks on the air. Kilo Quebec 4, Sierra Bravo Echo. Kilo Quebec 4, Sierra Bravo Echo. Nice 55 five Wisconsin, US 1455. Back to you. QSL, Michael, you are 5555 five, five, five into Tampa Bay, Florida. Operator, Barry. All right, Barry. Hey, oh, thanks a lot for Tampa Bay. Really appreciate it. Um, I had my doubts about 10 meters, but it's kind of waking up today, so good to get you in the log. And I have you in my log as well. 73, and thank you for the activation. 73, take care. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. Kilo, Papa 4, my the Kilo Papa 4 again? Kilo Papa 4, Mike Delta Echo. Kilo Papa 4, Mike Delta Echo. I got you. 5-3 Wisconsin, US 1455. Back to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're 5-3 Puerto Rico, 5 and 3. Hey, thanks for Puerto Rico. You have a great day, 7-3. It's my second Puerto Rico today. If you want to use the uh, hex tenna on the 30 and the 40 meter bands, uh, what you do is you take these included wire elements. Uh, these are sort of extenders uh, for to extend the whips out for 30 and 40 meters. Uh, the way it works is for the 30 meter band, uh, you retract the whip to about four feet and some inches and then attach attach this approximately i think it's 18 foot um, extension and for the 40 meter band you extend the whip oh about 15 and a half feet and you you add the extension the extensions they just clip uh right to the end of the of the whip on the little on the little ball of the whip uh, and there's and stake down uh, to the ground i'm going to try tuning this up for the 30 meter band and um, and then we'll we'll ultimately get this tuned up on the 40 meter band. So what do I think about Alpha Antenna's hex tenna? Well, we've been camping out here in Hartman Creek State Park in East Central uh, Wisconsin. It's the beginning of November. This is uh, beautiful temperatures in the 40s. It is a great. I think this is a, our last great weekend to be out camping. So it's been an absolute pleasure to put the hex tenna dipole on the air. Um, it really, it, it, it met and probably exceeded a lot of my expectations. I've heard a lot of great things about this antenna and I was excited um, when uh, Alpha Antennas offered to loan me one to try out. Uh, so it, um, it, did, it did a really good job. <laughs> Let me, uh, let me say that. Um, assembly, you know, to put it up isn't too bad. It probably takes just a little bit more time than would an elevated vertical antenna. You've, you, you've got these you know, two elements to put up. Uh, the 17 foot um, uh, whips, you know, get them fully extended for the, uh, for the 20 meter band. So um, setup wasn't overly difficult. If you are looking at this antenna, I would definitely recommend the um, the tripod, the surveyor's tripod, it is it's sturdy. I think if I, um, I did not um, guy this or sandbag it at all, but I think if we were at a um, 
at a location that was breezy or if the points on the tripod couldn't be stuck well enough into the ground I would certainly guy or, or, or sandbag it but it stayed up uh, all weekend without any any difficulties I really put it through its paces uh, operating on multiple bands 10 12 uh, 20 30 and 40 meters so we kind of really ran the gamut of what this antenna could do uh, tuning was pretty straightforward uh, alpha it, alpha does give you a tuning guide and um, their their estimated values were pretty close to what I was expecting I had no problem getting it tuned to 1.5 to 1 or less on most of those bands. Uh, the only band I really had difficulty with was the 40 meter band and I think that's probably where this antenna falls down the most. Um, now primarily this is a 10 through 20 meter uh, adjustable dipole antenna. If you want to use it on the 30 and the 40 meter bands Alpha gives you um, these lengths of wires uh, that you, you clip on the ends and extend out for those other two bands. 30 meters was not a problem. Got a good match on that. Uh, 40 meters, I could not get the antenna below 2 to 1. Might be location um, or it just might be the way in which the antenna is designed. It doesn't, but still um, worked, worked pretty well. You know, good enough on 40 meters. Uh, one thing though is that because this is not very high in the air, and the, the extension wires do um, get guide off at ground level on those low bands. This is really just operating at an, as an NVIS antenna, near vertical incident skywave propagation. So the bulk of your signal is going to go straight up. So that might be good for regional communications. If you're thinking about 40 meter emergency communications, NVIS is where you want to be, and that might be a good choice. Uh, but 40 meter DX is not what you're going to get out of out of this antenna, but you will get it definitely on the higher bands uh, 20 uh, 15 10 meters uh, 10 meters uh, easily got contacts from Puerto Rico and Brazil. So um, Definitely has some DX cred here now. We did not test the um, vertical. I did not put it on in the vertical orientation yet uh, I'm gonna do that in a future video, but instead of using it as a dipole you can put just one whip uh, vertically and there's a counterpoise connection right here, much like the Performer antenna. Uh, elevated, elevated quarter wave uh, vertical radiator, ten, you know, 10 through 20 meters. I think you can also do six and two meters, just depending on, you know, where your whip is gonna be, um, gonna be adjusted to. So we'll do that in a future video. We'll get it, we'll get it on the air as a vertical. So what do you think about Alpha's, Alpha antenna's hex tenna? Have you tried it? Um, Good or bad? Uh, let me know in the, in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinions on that. So, uh, thank you, Alpha, for sending me this uh, antenna. Uh, I really, really uh, appreciate being able to get it on the air. Uh, questions, comments, leave them down below. I'm, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day and 7 3.